Star Atlas is the most ambitious game being created right now. But what is Star Atlas and how do you get into it? Star Atlas is a massive multiplayer online space game aiming to have exploration, ship combat, weapon combat, racing, and way more. The big thing that distinguishes Star Atlas from other games is the ability to actually own your assets. In traditional games, you don't actually own your skins or anything else you buy in game. If you're banned, you lose everything. If you want to leave the game, you lose the money you spent and can't sell your account without potentially having that account banned. Star Atlas also has a team of professional economists aimed at making the Star Atlas economy one of, if not the best economy in gaming. My name is Dominic, I'm the community manager here at Star Atlas, and I love teaching people about Star Atlas any chance that I get. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn something. So let's get into what we'll be talking about in today's video. The five topics that I'll be covering are, number one, games, number two, creating a wallet and funding it, number three, using the marketplace, number four, getting involved in the community, and number five, what's upcoming for Star Atlas. Now, let's get started with number one, the games being created in the Star Atlas universe. The first one, which is the game that most likely hooked you into Star Atlas or intrigued you enough to look into Star Atlas, is the main Unreal Engine 5 Grand Strategy and Space Exploration MMO. The first building block of that main Star Atlas game was actually laid down in 2022, which lets you call in the ships that you own. You can fly select ships like the Pierce X4, Calico Medtech, and Floyd Liner, and then you can also run around in multiplayer instances with your friends. This first building block is called the showroom. The showroom is currently private access, but it's pretty easy to gain access. Uh, to gain access to the showroom, you'll need to enlist a ship and faction fleet for seven days. Uh, I have a video of me explaining that process in the description down below. Also, if you ask in the Discord server, our community is usually pretty good about giving codes to people interested in testing things out. Like I said, this is just the first step and there's a lot more to come that I'll talk about when we get to the upcoming section. The second game being developed alongside the main UE5 game is called Star Atlas Golden Era, or Sage for short. Sage is a browser-based strategy game focused around conquering the galaxy. The three factions will be competing against each other for control, mining, and of course, there's going to be fighting against each other. If I had to compare this game to really anything else, I'd compare it to probably EVE Online or Stellaris. Some of you might know this part already, if so, you can skip this part. For those of you who don't know though, Star Atlas is a blockchain game. This is how Star Atlas achieves real ownership of assets. Uh, I'm not going to go into what blockchain is or anything like that. I think it's of course good to know about it, but if you're just looking to get into Star Atlas, I don't think it's completely needed. Uh, Star Atlas is on the Solana blockchain, so that just means that you're going to need a Solana wallet. A wallet is basically what holds your ships, skins, currencies, and, and really everything else that you own in the Star Atlas universe. Uh, without a doubt, the easiest to use and best wallet, in my opinion, is the Phantom Wallet. It's super easy to download, and once you do it, it becomes an extension in your browser. I have it downloaded in this browser already, so if you see, if you click it, it's going to take me to another browser page where I can create a new wallet. Uh, like I said, it's really easy to create a wallet, but I'm going to drop a video down below uh, that I think is exceptional at explaining exactly how to create a wallet and fund it if my high level explanation isn't really doing it for you. Uh, once you have your wallet created, if you want to buy ships or anything else on the Star Atlas Marketplace, you're going to need to fund your wallet. To fund it, I recommend signing up for a trusted centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance. Uh, if you are in the United States, you're going to need to use Binance.us. And if you're outside of the United States, you can use Binance.com. Once you sign up, you can purchase Solana, send it to your Phantom Wallet, and swap it for the Star Atlas currency or USDC, which are the two currencies that you can buy Star Atlas assets with. Like I said, this part is meant to be pretty high level and not super in-depth, so I'm linking an amazing video down below that I think explains this part perfectly. Once you have a wallet made and funded, we can start using the marketplace and buy our first ship. To use the marketplace, we're going to go to play.staratlas.com. Once we're there, we can click on the shopping cart right over here. This is the marketplace, and this is where you can purchase ships, collectibles, structures, lore stories, and resources. To go over the marketplace, I'm going to purchase a ship to show you the process. Besides your budget, something else to keep in mind is the ship spec. There are different ship specs and sizes to fit whatever the player wants to do in the Star Atlas universe. Let's take the Fimble Lobby for example. The Fimbalobi is a transport spec, so it's going to have traits and components that fit that spec and will lack something else, for example, like combat ability. Then, on the other hand, we have the Pierce F4, which has a couple oversized weapon hardpoints and two missile bays because of its fighter ship spec. Now that you know that, I'd like to show you probably my most used tool when looking to purchase a ship on the marketplace. 
This website, afia.com, is a website created by one of the most respected Star Atlas guilds and has a tool that shows you ship prices and discounts all in one place. All you need to do is press the ship tab right up here. If you're in the market to grab a good deal, you can sort it by the most discounted, which I already do. This website is super useful for people on a budget and just want to find a ship that's discounted from the initial sales price. So from looking at this website, I can see the cheapest and most discounted ship is the Fimble Airbike. Let's go ahead and purchase that one. When purchasing a ship, the first thing we need to do is connect our wallet at the bottom left corner right here. From there, we can head to the ship tab right here and find the Fimble Airbike, which is right here. When purchasing a ship, it's important to notice something here. The light blue highlighted seller named Star Atlas is being sold by Star Atlas. That means this is not a secondary sale and is being sold at full price. Since we're looking to buy the cheapest air bike, I'm going to purchase the one here by wallet 4NGQ. From here, you're going to hover over the wallet you want to purchase from. You're going to press the buy button and you're going to make sure that all of these are correct. Make sure the price is correct. Make sure the quantity that you want is correct and then you press buy. A wallet transaction is going to pop up from here, which you can't see, uh, but all you do is press approve. And just like that, our order is complete and we bought a Fimble Air Bike. I'm incredibly proud to say that Star Atlas has one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. I know that's of course biased because of me being the community manager and all, but I've genuinely never met a group of people more interesting, talented, and engaging. If you find yourself interested in Star Atlas and want to join the community, our most active social media websites to interact with are Twitter, which also has an official community account made to highlight what cool things the community is up to, Discord, which has a bunch of cool things I'll highlight in just a second, and Reddit, which has just started gaining a lot of popularity. For official Star Atlas events, there's two. One is a weekly theory crafting and discussion session with Star Atlas employees and community members where we discuss a wide variety of topics like economics, game structure, politics, and a lot more. This is held every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the Star Atlas Discord server and is called the Atlas Brew. Our community's favorite event is called the Town Hall, and this is where CEO Michael Wagner and community director Santi update the community on anything important and also allow the community to ask questions during an open Q&A session. The last thing I'd like to highlight is something in Star Atlas called the Foundation Room. The Foundation Room is a Discord text channel in our main server where Michael Wagner and other top Star Atlas devs answer questions from the community. All you have to do to gain access is boost our Discord server. In the future, this will probably be a bit more exclusive, so definitely take advantage of this while you can. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to upcoming for Star Atlas. Of course, the full vision is a few years away at least. Because of that, I'm going to hone in on things we can probably look forward to in 2023. The first thing that we can probably look forward to is Sage DevNet. This is Sage, but without the earnings. There needs to be a ton of testing, not only from the econ side, but also gameplay to make sure rewards are launched when they really should be. That means game balancing, bug fixing, and all that. Next is ground racing. Currently, you can race while flying, but one of the things that should be coming this year is ground racing. Something that myself and the community is very excited about and has been teased is that there's going to be some sort of PvP in 2023. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly what that's going to be. We'll have to learn more as information is announced. Of course, there's going to be more flyable ships. We've already seen hints at some of the next flyable ships, possibly being the Fimble Airbike, the Fimble Lobby, or the Pierce X6, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's more on the horizon. Bug fixes. Being early means there's bugs and the team has that on their mind to fix. A lot of people have been asking for bug fixes, so everyone should be very happy to know this is on the planning list for 2023. Last but not least, DAO proposals. A DAO is an entity with no centralized leadership. A portion of Star Atlas sales and all resource sales go directly to this DAO. The community will be able to vote and propose ideas for this treasury and the company. I believe the DAO's treasury holds around a million dollars of assets at this time, which is pretty damn crazy. It'll be really interesting to see what the community does when proposals go live. I just want to say this is by no means an exhaustive list, and there almost certainly will be more to come that hasn't been announced yet, so keep an eye out for any Star Atlas announcements. Well, thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout this entire video. Whether you're new to Star Atlas, skeptical, doing research, or a Star Atlas veteran, I hope you learned something. 2023 is set up to be one of the best years in Star Atlas yet, and I'm really looking forward to what's in store. Thanks again, and have a great day, or night, wherever you are.